Okay, then after you do the uh, the last command, which is be the fast boot flash recovery recovery dot img, uh, you're gonna you know, hit enter, and you're gonna get this screen. Basically, it's just saying starting fast boot, which I said before, and then flashing aloud for partition recovery, which is your clockwork mod, and then it's, uh, right now it's going to my to my chart uh, to my computer, and it says here at the bottom flashing uh, store manager partition recovery status done. Okay, so that's um, that's pretty much done. So now we're actually done with the computer part. You know, plug that from your computer, and then you can go ahead and just hit the up, the volume up button plus plus the the power button. Now, before you do this, what you're gonna do is when you restart your zoom, okay, um, you're gonna get it's gonna go back to the dual core image. Now. Wait a few seconds and then you're gonna hit the volume down button. Okay, you have to do this so that if it restarts back to the Android system, it's just gonna go back and rewrite itself over. We just did so, then you have to do the same all over again. So, let's go ahead and push the volume up and the power button. It's gonna restart and then you're gonna see the logo one more time. So, get your finger ready here, the volume down. So one, two, hit the volume down button. You're gonna get a thing like this on the top. Okay, Android recovery. That means you wouldn't get into Android recovery now. So to select that, you're going to go ahead and press up. And then it's going to start booting up into clockwork, uh, clockwork mod recovery. And then you have these selections right here. Let me zoom in. Okay, you're going to have these selections right here. Oops. You can see that. There you go. And the selections. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to try to look for the the dot .zip, the zip, uh, universal uh, root that we that we copied to our SD card earlier. So you can go ahead and go down to install zip from SD card. Okay, volume down is down and volume up is up and the power button is going to be enter. So you can go to select that, go to choose zip from SD card, okay, go down, and then go all the way down there to it says zoom universal boot.zip. So you can go here, select that, and say yes, you want to install. And then you're gonna get this, and that's pretty much it. And then you're done. Okay, that's pretty much what you're gonna get. And then that's it. You have a rooted um, mobile zoom. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and go back. Click where it says go back, and then reboot system now. So let that do is so do is um, reboot menu thing, and I'll get back to you guys in a minute as soon as this is done. Alright, now as you can see, we're back here at the lock menu. Go ahead and unlock your Zoom, and then go ahead and get onto your uh, go to your applications, and then you can see right there that you have Super User. So um, you now have a rooted Zoom, so you can go ahead and. Uh, um, I'm not quite exactly sure on the ROMs. I think there's a few ROMs out there for for the Zoom, but not um, not not which are not stable ones. So. But you can go ahead and try those, get some other reviews from here, you know, on YouTube or something. Now you can basically, you know, get the, um, you can get rooted, rooted apps that only work on rooted uh, devices. For example, like I've always wanted to get rid of this stupid QWERTY and dungeon defense games, but you can't because they come with the system. But you can go ahead and get a root uninstaller and you can get that, you know, uninstalled or any system file that's been on this thing, so... Uh, well, that's it. That's the tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hope it helped somebody out there. Please share this video with somebody and um, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and then uh, or leave any comments down below. See if you guys need help with anything else or any uh, requests. I also have a Samsung Galaxy S2. I also have that rooted and everything. Um, I put a bunch of like I have a bunch of custom ROMs and I have a bunch of like you know uh, emulators stuff like that. So if you guys need help how to do that or where to find one, um, give me a message and I can do another video and show you guys. On again, I'll provide the files for you. So um, okay, well like this video, subscribe, share this video, and uh, take it easy.